Right, hello all. Now I've never done this video before because just because I live in the southeast of England, I don't assume that everybody else lives in the southeast of England. And so it's not really that relevant if I'm talking to you about low emission zones if you are living in Glasgow and doing regular runs between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So yeah, that's very nice for you, Peter. Well done. Uh, or if you're out, you know, going to Italy or somewhere like that. But then it occurred to me, so I was speaking to my mate Ray again. Hello, Ray. Um, who lives in Nottingham, but he does regular runs down to London, and he said to me the other day, he said, oh, it's Oxford Street in the low, in the ULEZ. And I went, yeah. And he went, oh, I was in there on Tuesday and I haven't paid it. And I think, well, depending on, yes, I'm pretty, yes, Oxford Street's in the ULEZ. When you turn left at Marble Arch, off Park Lane, you're in the ULEZ. Anything on the left of it is ULEZ. So I thought I'd do a video on the LEZ and the ULEZ, which is around London, now, you're going to get full details of this, you want to go on a website, the, tra the Transport for London website, there's a lot of information, uh, but the long and short of it is you've got the LEZ, that's pretty much everything inside the M25, that tends to focus really heavily on big commercials, I think you have to be at least a Euro 4 to drive in in a big commercial over 3.5 tonnes, and by October time it's going up to Euro 6. At the moment, the rest of us mob, uh, the diesel people, you have to be LE3 compliant, which most of us probably are, and I think it only applies to diesels and doesn't apply to cars. But all that is going to change in October 2020 when they're talking about making the whole of it um, ULE6 compliant. Um, what happened then, I don't know. There's, uh, I read a thing on the website about maybe being a fine of £100 if you drive in. Well, I'm in a hurry to change my van, which is a Euro 5, is only a 15 plate for a Euro 6, just because of the fine thing. Um, I wonder if they'll do like they do the ULEZ where you have to pay for it. But that one we'll cross when we come to it. Now the, the ULEZ, that's basically when you go over the Red Sea. So that's central London. That's if you can drive into Camden, you can drive into Islington, that's fine. But if you want to go right in the centre, you know, in, in your Westminsters, your Lambeths, all that kind of thing, you drive over the Red Zone, you've got to pay. Um, and if you don't pay within two days, you get fined. Um, it's for the congestion charge. I believe is £12.50 and that only applies between 7 in the morning and half 6 at night and then there's the ultra low emissions charge which I think is about £11 or £11 something and that applies 24 hours so even if you drive in now at 6 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock at night you might you won't have to pay the congestion charge but unless you're a Euro 6 you're gonna to have to pay that charge um, the other one I think about is the dart for crossing so anyway, the long and short of it is I was talking around, I said, well, the best way you can avoid this, guys, even if you're based up there, is sign up for auto pay. Because if you sign up for auto pay, if you get clocked on a camera, it will just take the money out of your account. So if you're going at six o'clock in the morning, it'll take the ULEZ money of like 11 pounds something, 11.50. If you take, if you go in at like 12 in the afternoon, it'll take the 24 pound 50. It'll take the congestion charge and the, and the zone charge money, and it will do it automatically. So if you don't get clocked in the camera, you won't get done. And if you do get clocked in the camera, then it will go automatically. So it just stops you getting fined. Rather than facing an £80 fine and going, oh, I forgot about it, 24 quid will go out of your account, and you go, oh yeah, forgot about that, thank God for that. And I would recommend the same with the Dart for Crossing. You can set the Dart for Crossing up as well on an auto pay, which means if you ever find yourself going across the Dart for Crossing, and you know what happens, you get home and you're running, you take another job, you're tired, you forget about it, you think about it two days later. So what I've done, as usual, with the power of technology, is I've done a little thing that's going to pop up in the corner that's got the phone numbers of the people you can ring. Ta-da! I'll back a bit for that one. Right, so the congestion zone is if you ring 0343 222 2222, and the other one, the dart for crossing is 0300 300 0120. It's a bit windy out here, but I thought you might answer this one which you can probably not see, but they're over the background. So that's it, that's what I recommend you do. Set yourself up, it takes about 20 minutes, and once you set up, you set up for life, and I think they might take a tenner out of your account, or it might just be on a direct debit, but it just means you won't get stung. There's anywhere else in the country that also does this, you know, like um, the toll roads or anything like that, let me know. I'll pass it on. It might be any of the people out there. As for now, I've just finished my second job, and I'm struggling to get me third, but wish me luck, because I need to take care, take money. Bye, guys.